it's Elise, and welcome back to Saint Tropez. Uh, <laughs> no, this bar is called Saint Tropez um, Club or whatever. And welcome back to the Hawthorne Family Let's Play. Um, I'm sure you're gonna love this part because it's um, definitely gonna stand up to the standards of uh, being saucy now, which uh, which is yeah, which is like a new like. Um, let's play quality of this, this let's play. It's like, it always has to ha have something saucy happen. Um, so what we're gonna do, what we're doing actually is we are on Kelsey and okay, we are on Kelsey because you know, guys, that Kelsey saw a little bit too much last night where Madison went on a cheating spree. Um, and she wasn't like, you know, she wasn't in the place to go on a cheating spree. So, um, yeah, now we're on Kelsey. Kelsey's angry. She's really, really pissed because her, you know, her best friend's brother, which is like, he's like family to her and he got cheated in such a way. Obviously, she noticed that somebody had a tummy. So she's like, you know, she, she knows about this stuff. She told his father last time that she doesn't think that Madison is a good person to be around. So... She doesn't. She didn't trust Madison from the start, basically. So now she wanted to get some coffee, and just, you know, just take some time and tell, um, tell um, Noel what he's in for because he Shorty. is not in a very good place, and Kelsey just doesn't Kelsey. appreciate the kind of people that, you know, the kind of person that Madison is being right now. So she she's up to tell him. And uh, Noel, he has no clue. He hasn't. He doesn't even know what happened. That something isn't right. So he has absolutely no clue what this is about. Look at him. He's so cute. He does not deserve that kind of that kind of stuff. You know. Um. Yeah. Kelsey's like kind of getting over it. She's a little bit bored. Um. But he's gonna come here in a second as soon as our cappuccino arrives. Like seriously, there is no no one here waiting for a cappuccino and this is why you can't actually have a beverage with someone in the sims because it takes actual ages to get your stuff um i did not want to sit with you where is noel oh my gosh like you know this is between noel and 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 his girlfriend it's it's right now it's between him and and, and kelsey and this girl is just like sitting up so she, Kelsey is just going to try to be very nice to him. She's gonna, what did I click? I wanted to click ask about day. Let's see what we did. Chat with Noel. Yeah, let's, uh, just any kind of chat. Uh, she, I'm sure she does not know how to tell him. Um, because how do you tell someone that their, their pregnant girlfriend is cheating on them? I do not know. But Kelsey, she will not keep this in and she will definitely not keep it in in front of um in front of her either so yeah other sims we're going to talk talk up another sim no we're just going to ask him about what is actually you know just to make sure what is actually going on with um where is she? With Madison. So let's ask him about Madison. He's like, yeah, we're on and off. We... Uh, he's so in love with Madison. Oh, no, no, no. So this is what's actually gonna take Kelsey into telling him. You know, you say you're so in love, but you should ask her what she thinks. Because... Seeing her kiss someone last night told me that she probably does not feel the same way. I don't believe you. I can't. This can't be her. She's like, you need to ask her. You need to, 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 to ask her because this really happened. And you can also, you can ask Ruby because I know Ruby was there and she's her sister. But this happened. It's kind of weird that they're having this conversation. She can't be all that bad. Oh, she's like, yeah, but but she is. She she is Noel. I'm sorry. Uh, he didn't take it that well. I'm gather. I think he does not believe it. And Kelsey. Yeah, she's not just. She's not just gonna like. 
go on. She's she's a little bit saddened by the fact that he doesn't believe it. She's gonna apologize and she's gonna leave. But now he knows. And there's no going back. So let's go on him and see how he feels and what he what he's gonna do about it. Um Okay guys, so we're back uh and we are at Noel's house. We're gonna see how he kind of handles the whole situation with um with Madison and basically he, he's gonna wanna hear it from her. He's not going to trust because he's so in love, as he told Kelsey, he he just can't believe that such an angel like Madison would do something like that. And um, so he invited her over. She should be here in a second. And he's going to ask her, like, he doesn't know any of it. Like, not the cheating, not the baby, not nothing. Uh, there she is. She's in her home. But I was kind of wishing that she would have um, come down. So let's just ask her to to come over here. Because I want to kind of have this conversation, obviously, away from home. Because it's... Really, for him, it's kind of embarrassing to, to have it in front of his family. And I, I reckon this is like a nice place to to just talk and not be disturbed. So let's just wait for her to waddle over here. Let's just skip that a bit. Thankfully, someone forgot his tablet so we can play while she waddles. Literally, that's how long it took her to get here. So, obviously, the first thing that we see is that she's pregnant. And... He hasn't seen her in a while, so he, he's just gonna, he's gonna be like, okay, this one was true, what is she not telling me? He's gonna be like, so when, when is this happening? And she's like, well, well, there's, there's a few months left, and then he's gonna be like, well, I, I wanna ask you about, Jake, because do you know Jake? And yeah, let's just see what she says. So Jake, Jake Hawthorne. It's like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he. She's just like acting it out. She has no idea he spoke with Kelsey, and now suddenly he's like, "Who's Jake?" She's like. I am so in love with Jake. She told him that. So she, you guys, she's going to try and tell him that this is that this is Jake's baby and that it has nothing to do with him because she doesn't want to hurt him. She doesn't know how to stand up to him. But but he's going to try to understand because he doesn't he doesn't like connect the dots like how long when did Kelsey say he was with with him and with Jake and it just doesn't make sense because she says there's this much time left until the baby comes, you know? He to him it's not gonna make sense, but he he's not gonna say anything just yet because I, I think he needs a woman to actually really be aware that this is impossible that she had this this with Jake and I'm just so going to sneeze. Oh my god, it's going. Uh, and it's gone. Think. No? No. <coughs> okay. So, excuse me. Um Yeah, we're just going to try to try to be like but you know, you you love Jake, but but don't you love me? I I really like you and I don't know if you're telling me the truth, but I, you know, I love you, and I was kind of hoping that you would be honest with me and tell me why you were seeing Jake, and, you know, I thought, I really thought we had something going on, and she's like, I'm sorry, but there's nothing more I can tell you, this just happened with Jake, and, and I need to go, you know? I can't. She's she's like a total liar, guys. She's not going to. Okay, she's he's gonna be like, okay, well, if you if that's how you feel, I'm just gonna go now, and and he's gonna go because he believed her, but he 
feels like there's something fishy about this. And he's gonna talk to his mom. And that's how he's going to find out that there really is something <laughs> fishy about it. Let's just make him sad since I have uh, sad high. So he's like, you know what just happened? I thought she was in love with me and I thought we had something going on. And now she tells me that she's pregnant with Jake. Basically, he's being very naive. Um... He's being very naive, and, um, he's gonna talk to Caleb first of all. He's gonna ask him for advice, because, you know, Caleb's gonna call him over and he's gonna be like, Did you talk to... Did you talk to Madison? He's gonna say, yeah, yeah, man, I talked to her, and she she's pregnant, did you know? I know, because my, my girlfriend told me, and Ruby said... Ruby said that she cheated on you. He's like, no man, she doesn't cheat on me. Apparently, us sleeping together meant nothing to her. It, she, she's with, she's with Jake, and and Caleb, who is now doing push-up, he's gonna be like, no, she can't. No, she. It does mean something to her because it's your baby. He's gonna be like, what do you mean? It's like, Ruby told me that it's your baby. I don't know what she said or what she decided to tell you, but it, it, according to Ruby, it's definitely yours since she only met Jake like last night. Or like a couple nights ago. Like, he doesn't understand right now. He's like gonna be so confused. Yeah, like, what? Are you sure? Are you sure this is real? This, this happened? It's gonna be like, yeah, man. I I didn't want to tell you, but you can you can ask Ruby too. I'm not sure like the whole story and what happened, but let me just ask Ruby over, and she will tell you everything because this one is a liar, and she obviously is hiding from you. She doesn't even have the the courage to tell you the truth, and it's really weird that he's energized right now. I wish that he wasn't, because it's like a really sad thing. <sighs> but, yeah, let's just get Ruby over here to really confirm that this happened. And Noel is... Noel, first of all, he's not going to want to see Madison for a while. Even through all the pain that he's feeling, he's not going to want to see her because he... He can't believe that he... He's a father and... She would do that for the start of their would-be relationship. He's very sad, but he he will find himself like he's a very smart guy. I think he will find a way out of this. Maybe he will meet someone he loves. Maybe he, but he will definitely try to be there for the birth. I I hope personally. I hope I'm there because then I can bring him over. But I don't know if I'm gonna be capturing the right moment. Um, so let's. He just went to the bathroom and now he can talk to Ruby and Noel and she can. Um, Ruby and Caleb and then she can confirm to him that she. Madison is indeed pregnant with him and she went on a cheating spree and then lied to him about the whole thing because she's so embarrassed and irresponsible and probably wants to give the baby up and just never have anything to do with it because she has huge commitment issues and she's mean and she doesn't care about anyone. Maybe she cares about Noel but she she's not that kind of person that you you would date for a long time or something like that. So let's have Ruby talk to <laughs> she's so flirty she's like oh Caleb let's go talk to Noel and we're just going to ask her about about Madison. She's gonna say... Are you asking? Chatting with Ruby. I need to ask her about Madison. Other sims? Ask about another sim? Maddie. Oh no no no! <laughs> Do you hear the Linkin Park music? I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Madison. Are you insane? She's your sister! You know Madison. Okay, so... 
you ask about another sim. Is there another Madison in town that can't be? <laughs> okay, let's just pretend like she actually told him the truth. She's like, yes, I don't want to tell you this. I was really hoping that my sister would tell you this, but it's true. It's true. And he's just going to be like, I, I need to know nothing else. I'm just going to go to bed because he doesn't know how to react to this. He's literally just gonna sleep for days and for like, how would you react to this? This is a very, very tough situation, but he will find himself and he will he will do it. Um, yeah, let's. Uh, why can he go to bed though? It's unlocked. Just go to sleep. And these two lovebirds are just gonna be like talking about it, and maybe they can. <laughs> Watch the stars together and just talk about how unfair life is and that his brother is such a nice guy. Um, they can't believe this is happening to him. So let's see. Where is the stargaze? Stargaze? Come on. No stargaze? Actions? Uh, let's add to group and then we can maybe go to the hot tub and chat there. Oh, they can be like bonding in the hot tub, like discussing like stuff and everything, and then they could maybe get into some make out sessions. <laughs> That'd be exciting, right? But these guys are I don't know, they're very reserved. They're very careful. They're Okay guys, so one thing uh, this weird skip is because the recording software failed and um yeah so now you don't get to see the the two of them making out but don't worry nothing serious happened um ruby and caleb just made out and then he asked her if she wanted to be his girlfriend but she, it was like i guess she already knew so yeah you kind of miss a little bit there but um Thankfully, I noticed like only like five sim hours later, so you didn't lose too much. But we're just going to see for the rest of the episode how Noel is going to cope with, uh, you know, losing two people basically at the same time. Or so he thinks right now. He's not thinking straight. He doesn't know. He doesn't probably count with the, the possibility that he could just be, you know, a single dad or something like that. He's very young. He's basically a kid. Um, so, of course, the first thing, he can't sleep, and he doesn't want to eat, so he's, he's just going to work out. He, he needs a place to let it all out. First of all, he doesn't have a game plan. Um, but right now he's figuring it out as he runs, guys, and, like, the city is so quiet, or he lives more on the, on the hillside, like, on the side of the city, I guess, so let's just follow him but as he's running he's probably thinking you know the sun is rising it's so beautiful he's thinking that he can't give up because it's not worth gi giving up this exact thing is not something that you should give up for and he needs he sees that obviously he has to ask her what she's gonna do with the child and he has to confront her because she lied she lied that it's uh it's not his he's very obviously he's gonna start getting a little bit angry because that's not okay because that's his his decision as well as it is hers and um that's what's going on through his head so he he's gonna confront her today and he's gonna say that she's a complete idiot if she thinks that she she's in this alone he's gonna be nice to her of course because he he knows in a way because he's such a nice person he also knows that she's scared and let's see if he's ready and willing to forgive her or not but i don't think he should and i think even though he loves her and he feels like he could forget her i think people will probably try and talk him out of it what do you guys think i don't know um but since yeah like trying to think in the personality of Noel, who Noel is a hardworking, good boy. He, you know, he's very loyal. 
he would not get mad at her, but he would also not be with her. Like, he can find a new girlfriend. I'm sure it won't take him long because he's such a catch. Um, but he, he will tell her that if she doesn't want the child, he will take it. And then we will see what she decides. But he definitely wants to be there. I'm sorry. He definitely wants to be there. And I think at best he would probably like to just take matters in his own hands. Even though it's unfair. Even though it's not what he wanted. He took part in it too. And he, it's also his problem. So he's definitely a guy who would take responsibility. So this is what this morning jog is about, not seeing it like, not seeing it like the end of the world because he needs to pull himself together for, for this other person in this thing. So he's going, yeah, he's going to feel refreshed after this jog. Obviously he's, he's tired and he's dirty, but he has a fresh point of view to, to go upon. Can we have breakfast here? What is this? visit the cafe so let's visit the cafe um i don't know if you should invite her for breakfast i don't think so he just wants to go alone let's go guys let's uh let's see so we're at the cafe we're starving let's order some breakfast oh no is it working yet I, it should be i feel like the chick is going to be serving any second so let's have some breakfast and um Eh, hey, why are you sitting down, woman? Like, this person... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, might have just uh, called out the wrong person. So we're going to have some cannoli and some, because he's also tired, some espresso. <laughs> yeah. I love how they wrote it wrong, like, especially because everybody says espresso and it's actually espresso. Um... But yeah, he's, he's, he didn't want to be with someone on this morning, which is the morning that he makes a difference for himself and decides to take this bath thing and turn it into at least, um, at least not a bad thing. Like, not a good thing, obviously, not yet. Maybe after several years, but... Uh, so yeah, let's, let's have our coffee and our scones and sit down. Who is this girl? Oh, he wants to sit down with her, but she has green eyebrows. I don't know. I wouldn't trust someone with green eyebrows. <laughs> Did she fart? God. But he's like, he he seems like a lot better than than last night. Oh, hello, Helena. He, we obviously don't want to talk to Elena. It's not the time to meet girls, and it's not the time to... It's a time for him. And you know what he's going to do with this? He's going to find a job. He's going to start pulling himself together, hopefully buy a house, hopefully buy a car, even though there's no cars in The Sims, but... You know, that kind of thing. He's going to be... He's going to try to be someone who can forgive her and offer her a way out and he's doing this for the child that's what he decided come on call call the job just having your coffee i guess kind of and let's see what he's gonna get into so he he's a whisket what do you mean he's a whisket he's like an adult <laughs> he's an adult why is he a whisket um Okay, so he doesn't have an aspiration yet. We're going to make him knowledge because he's such a sweet guy. Maybe, maybe love. Maybe he's going to want a soulmate. Yeah, let's go with the soulmate thing. I don't know what he should work. What are his skills? Hang on, hang on. Um, where was I going with him? So he's never played any musical instrument. He's a little bit charismatic. He's fun. He can dance. Hmm, so I feel like he could be a policeman or something like that. Hmm, tech guru is not his thing, not at all. So maybe secret agent, a writer is not his thing. I know secret agent is okay, painter is not okay. I don't feel like he's an entertainer, culinary, criminal. He's not, he is not an athlete. He's not a businessman. He's not an astronaut. Is he though? Hmm. No. Yeah, I feel like he should be a policeman. I don't care. Let's do it. 
So now he's an officer, and because he's so righteous and he's so nice, I feel like that's something for him. And um, yeah, he decided to go out this morning. He went out at 4 in the morning. He thought for hours at this point. He decided that he's going to turn this thing around. And now he's going to invite Madison over, and he's going to ask her if, you know, he, she wants to talk about it and he's gonna tell her you know confront her about telling him the truth um let's go to the bathroom a very eventful episode this one <laughs> like except that you missed the makeout session which i'm very sorry for but you got to who's last episode so that should count for something what is that <laughs> what is that girl wearing at like nine in the morning she's like with a ball gown and did madison just get even bigger oh gosh this is probably gonna be like the hardest thing ever for him i don't know if they're gonna break up I'm not sure if he has it in him i feel like she would probably want to break up because she doesn't she has commitment issues i don't know if she loves him the way that he loves her so first of all we're gonna do we're gonna do a hug because she needs a hug she has a big belly. Oh, shit. There's no time. There's no time um, to, to get the story rolling. So let's hug her and then we're going to tell her. We're going to tell her about our job. Oh my gosh, we just beat ourselves, I think. Uh, so we're, we need to fix this. I thought he went to the bathroom. Oh my gosh. So we're going to tell her about our job. We're going to pretend like we don't know. And... Then, like, let her know that we are we are serious, and then we're gonna be asking her about about Jake. And oh no, not Ryan! Don't 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 trash Ryan! No, don't trash Ryan! So we're gonna yell at her first of all. Why did why do you think this is an okay thing to hide from someone? Why? You lied to my face. I spoke to your sister. I spoke to my brother. I I don't know. And you criticize woohoo techniques because um you you slept with him? Like why would you do that? Why would you do that? Um Yeah, we're obviously we're not okay with it. We're gonna be like Abhorrent confrontation. I'm gonna be very mean to her because that is not okay. And he's just gonna he's just gonna pause for a second after taking out all of his feelings on her because he I guess he's empty on things to say. He's gonna work on moving out. Maybe then he will try to get to know her a little bit better, but... Yeah. I was just gonna give her some bad news, which is basically that we're breaking up. <laughs> Where did she go? There she is. Um, but I fear that when she breaks up with us, she's gonna hate us. Um, romance. Are we even together? That's a good question. Yeah, we're lovebirds, but we're not boyfriend girlfriends, so... We don't need to break up with her. We can just be like, she. She's like, um, I don't know what she's thinking. She's probably not able to, to assimilate what's going on at this point, and she will probably try to go on with her plan to seduce Jake. But we're going to phone Jake and tell him. We're also going to confront him, but because this is about letting it out. Can we not order coffee? <laughs> And just tell Jake, like, listen, man, I know that you slept with Madison, and maybe or maybe not did you notice that she's pregnant, but, but she's all yours, man. That's my kid, and that was my girl, but she's all yours now. I hope you had fun. Just wanted you to know, because I, I obviously didn't know about this whole thing. And that's what all he's gonna say. He's not gonna wait for an answer. He's just gonna hang up. And now he's gonna go home, because that's enough of Madison drama for him. And he's gonna see her 
when she gives birth eventually. Yes, that's uh, that's how it's gonna go down. And I feel like Noel has made a very adult choice. Obviously, he's very hurt now, so he will need to be with himself for a long time. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's hurt. <laughs> he, he has like sunshine in his footsteps. Maybe that's who he is. Maybe we don't know who he is. Maybe he's someone who can take this and turn it around so much that he would have sunshine in his footsteps. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for next episode because there's going to be some more drama. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love you guys so much and please subscribe if you enjoyed this. Um, I really like making this. Bye-bye.